Finally, we have Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. This is a very recent piece, and it's a rather controversial, or was a rather controversial portrait. So when we look at Queen Elizabeth II, 2001, this is during one of her jubilee years. She's been monarch for a considerable amount of time, I believe 60 years at this point, 55 years at this point. So we're used to seeing you know, a major well-known artist, which Freud is, coming in and depicting an image of the queen. But yet we see something harsh and something particularly real about this piece. As we look at and here, he's actually painting the piece as she sits for it, uh, or at least this is set up for, for that. Obviously, the painting is finished at this point. But when we look at the image, when we look at the queen versus the painting, what should stand out are the lips. And that sort of pursed, sort of very formal look that the queen has, almost a look of disdain. And we see this very harsh light, which we don't usually see around royalty. Obviously, we want images of royalty that want that call on us to want to be with them, that they are, uh, you know, warm and inviting people and powerful people. And this is none of that. This is not an image of power except for the crown. But honestly, if I put that crown on my grandma, she would have the same power as this image. This is an image of an elderly woman who happens to be queen. It's not an image of the queen. And this harshness of light really brings her down onto our level. And it's kind of interesting when you look at the portrait, when you look at the face and the hair versus the crown, the crown is more realistic than the rest of the image. So it almost makes us ask where the power lies. Does, it pow does the power lie in the person or in the crown, in the office or in the holder? And this piece was controversial at the time because it was felt that the light was unnecessarily harsh, that the image is not appropriately glamorizing or idealizing the queen in any way. In fact, we get this very harsh image of a woman who maybe doesn't want to be there or has somewhere else to go or really needs to go to the bathroom. It could be any number of different things that are going on here. But it definitely creates an unusual portrait of royalty near the end of Freud's life.